Hello, it's me. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. And it is, I don't know how you feel, but uh, the Christmas season is over. I, are you, uh, do you feel like uh, let down? I know for some people, uh, after Christmas Day, the 25th day of December, the next day is, you know, Christmas is gone. But for us, we kind of, we, you know, the, the liturgical season carries on, and so we still care, have the decorations, and, you know, if you're playing music, you can still play it. But at this point, after the baptism of the Lord, and we are now in ordinary time, uh, it just feels like, you know, yeah, Christmas is gone. That excitement, the festive season is gone. But, you know, that is the story of life. You know, seasons come, seasons go, and the church continues to help us to march on, to, to live this life of faith as uh, we are reminded of the great mysteries of the life of our Lord in our own lives. Um, you know, thinking of life going on, I, uh, uh, I, I read something that uh, Ralph Waldo Emerson wrote, and it goes, The purpose of life is not to be happy. It is to be useful, to be honorable, to be compassionate, to have it make some difference that you have lived and lived well. Wow. To that, I would add the, the words of, of Oscar Wilde, who wrote, To live is the rarest thing in the world. Most people exist. That is all. Wow. Live, exist. Do you live? Do you exist? Definitely, we all exist because, and exist because of God. We, God is real. God, God is alive, and God gave us life. But then that life has to be lived. That life has to, to make some difference in us, through us, and in the lives of others. So consider this. And we ended the Christmas season really with the baptism of the Lord. Usually baptism of the Lord is kind of the, the ending of that season, which is fitting. You know, a child is born, and then the baptism of the Lord. But baptism of the Lord reminds us of our own baptism. He began his, his ministry, his mission after his baptism. For us, too, we, when we are baptized, we, we are born again. We become children of God, called by name. And what a privilege to be children of God. But with baptism, then, as we grow, as we live this way, uh, this life of faith, as we are opened into the life of grace, we also have what we call vocations, you know, those, those callings in life. So here I am, a, a priest. There are others who are um, married, husbands and wives. We have those who are single. We have those who are consecrated re religious. We are all called somehow. There's a calling. And it's, I, I believe that for, for us as Catholics, for us as Christians, we live through those vocations. We live through those vocations. Definitely, somebody may even think about vocations, the work that they do, the jobs that they have. Those are, as, in a way, secondary to this vocation because this vocation, your calling through baptism, also has an influence in what you do in life, your work, your occupation. I, and I think it makes your life even uh, better when you realize who you are, wherever you are, whatever you do, your occupation. So today, as we think about living versus just existing and making a difference, our thinking about compassion, being honorable, being loving, being useful, think of your vocation, you know, uh, for me as a priest. How, what, how, how is my life not only helping me, but also, in, indeed, helping others to, to live, to, to, to find meaning in life. For a husband, for a wife, how is your life m making meaning to begin with, with your spouse, with your wife, with your husband, but also with your children and all the others you encounter along the way? That is living. And so, how useful, how honorable, how compassionate, how loving are we as we live this life? Life based on who we are as children of God, called and chosen through baptism, and indeed those vocations that flow through that life of grace. So, brothers and sisters, think of life and how you live it. Love, because you are loved. Amen.